Uh, well, for me, they were, distinction, you know? Well, they were a stepping stone for me. You know, I couldn't have read The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas when I was 15, mm. or the book thief, books on the Holocaust, but Mouse, that's a big one's Mouse, yeah. it was the stepping stone, because yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah, you were yeah. still dealing with something weighty and hefty and incredibly moving, yeah, but in yeah. a way that I could process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that, um, you know, it's, uh, it's such an engaging and sort of appealing and non-intimidating. Uh, yes. You know, speaking of, I mean, that book particularly, it's, uh, the drawing's so beautifully yeah. simple and sort of deceptively simple, and it just sort of lures you right in, and mm. before you know it, you're, yeah, you're reading a harrowing memoir about the Holocaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, isn't it? yeah. It's incredible, incredible it talent. Yeah. So where would you recommend young people start, or indeed anyone of any age, if they're going to start into the graphic novels uh, or comics? Um, where well, you begin? Oh, there's so many, uh, there are so many great comics, you know, around. Um, they can be a little hard to find. Some bookshops, you know, may not have a sort of dedicated children's yes. graphic novel section. Um, but libraries tend to have a good stock. Um, you've got, you know, your, your time-honoured classics, your Tintins and yeah. your Asterixes. Ain't nothing wrong with those. Those are, those are wonderful, you know, timeless classics. But there are more and more, you know, um, th there's lots of great work happening in this area right now, and which I think would be good if more people knew about, it, really. Um, in, in other countries, there's this huge boom in, like, the children's, children's comics, children's graphics novel area. Um, I've got here, um, which we lying around, uh, a copy of Smile by Rainer Telgemeier, which is a sort of middle grade, like, realistic memoir of growing up, um, being at that age, going to middle school, and having braces, having, like, yeah. serious dental problems and having to have uh, braces, which doesn't sound that exciting on the face of it, but it's this very warm, funny, honest, charming... Just put um, around to show people the spreads. Charming comic, um, in a sort of, work in that sort of memoir-y, but school story yeah. way, and it's, 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 it's hugely popular in America, um, I think it's probably starting to sort of uh, become better known over here as well, mm. but it's, I mean, it's just stupidly popular in America. She's like seven of the ten bestseller spots on yeah. the New York Times bestsellers are uh, oh, Rainer Tagamaya. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Good. Well, so we, you can show that the, the market is there, the market, the readership is there. The readership is there, and I, I think you know, kids naturally respond very hugely enthusiastically and passionately to comics when they get given them, when, yeah. when they have access to good comics, and uh, finding them can be tricky. Um, sure. And sort of knowing what the good stuff is can be tricky. Um, admittedly, but if once they get them, once they have access to them, it's just boom, you know. Great. I see it happening all the time. Well, Neil's books were a perfect place to start. I mean, I would have... I didn't know what to say. Well, I'd, <laughs> I'd have given my left arm for Times in the Deep when I was 11. You know, it, it did everything that I wanted a book to do. Uh, but also, if you're a young person who's interested in actually putting the books together in terms of becoming a comic book artist, uh, How to Make Amazing Comics as well is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Neil, you're a gent. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Do come and find us online. Neil's online on Twitter at what's your uh, handle? Just at Neil Cameron, two L's. Uh, yeah, we can get that. N E I double L Cameron, and uh, I'm at Phil Earl on Twitter. Do come talk to us about your recommendations or any questions you might have mm. about graphic novels. If anyone wants to know good comics for kids, I'm always happy to recommend some. That's a great place. <laughs> Thanks, mate.